One of the bodies in our solar system which seems to be attracting a lot of attention for future exploration is Saturn's largest moon, Titan. But why should this seemingly light orange ball with no easily seen features be attracting so much attention? Well, if we start with mass, in comparison to all the other moons of Saturn, Titan is huge. Even if you added up all the mass of the other moons of Saturn and all the debris in the rings, it would still only amount to about 5% of all the mass of Titan. It's evenly slightly larger than our own moon and a similar size to the closer moons of Jupiter and Ganymede and Callisto. Yet, in comparison to Saturn itself, it doesn't even make up three hundredths of one percent of the mass. But unlike Saturn or other gas giants, Titan has a solid surface, if not quite the rocky surface we think of when we view our moon. This mass and it not being too big or too small is the first attractive part about Titan. If too small it wouldn't be stable. But what about too big? Well, Currently, humans are limited by the size of craft and payload and getting to space our planet has enough mass to drag a rocket or other spacecraft back unless we use nearly all of the mass of the rocket for fuel to reach what is known as the escape velocity, which on Earth is 11.2 kilometers per second or thereabouts. Since Titan is significantly smaller and significantly less mass, the escape velocity is only about 2.65 kilometers per second. We need far less fuel so we can carry a bigger ship or a bigger payload into space. Of course, it's often leads to the next question where do you get the fuel from? Well, there are different types of fuel you can use for rockets from kerosene or even aluminium. But one of the commonest forms is a combination of liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen. And this is where some of the bizarre surface conditions of Titan come in. Because of where Titan is, the surface is very, very cold. About minus 170 degrees centigrade on a good day. One result of this is that Titan, like the only other solid body in our solar system, has flowing liquid on the surface. The liquid you find on the surface is normally methane. However, as I said, the surface of Titan isn't a standard rocky surface. Instead, it's made up mainly of water ice. Which and it's made from hydrogen and oxygen. So potentially you have a virtually unlimited supply of rocket fuel if you can use it. Surface conditions of Titan will of course present a tremendous barrier to this. So other than the potential launch pad, what else is interesting about Titan? Well, like Earth, it has an atmosphere which is mainly made up of nitrogen. It's the only known moon to have a significant atmosphere. It also has a warm molten core. On Titan, this however is created by the gravitational pull from Saturn, which is correctly squeezing the moon and causing it to heat up. It's able to do this even though it's 1.2 million kilometers distant from Titan because of Saturn's huge size. The result of this warm core are volcanoes, which of course fed by molten rocks. But because the rocks in Titan are mainly made up of frozen water, the volcanoes spew forth liquid water and a few other substances brought up from the core, which of course itself is mainly liquid water. Now, this liquid water at the heart of Titan brings up some rather intriguing possibilities. About 11% of Titan's mass may be made up of liquid water, just at the core, representing about 30 times the amount of water in all of Earth's oceans. And considering the chemistry, including the presence of methane and hydrocarbons on Titan, in a relatively stable environment with Titan's core, there's a possibility that some form of life, or even an entire ecosystem, unlike anything we've ever known before, may actually exist under Titan's rather bland exterior. All this combines to make Titan world worth exploring in the future.